Do you ever find yourself in a project thinking, hmm, I could probably make that? So do I. And in today's episode, we're going to be using the Carvera Air to create some custom aluminum plates for the Hive 3D printer. The first step we're going to want to take is marking our aluminum plate. So the plate itself is a little bit oversized. So we're going to want to cut it down to a size that will fit all four of our plates. Following this, we're going to nest those four plates into this part right here. So we're just kind of marking some dots and drawing some lines to get ourselves a nice straight reference point to cut with. Then we're going to take this and use a hacksaw to cut the part out so we can use it on our project. Next up, we're going to want to take the four plates that we're going to want to be machining and nest them together. So what nesting is, is taking a handful of parts and then prearranging them so that when you cut the material, you're left with the most minimal amount of waste as possible. So in this case, I'm just trying to make sure that our aluminum plate is getting the least amount of wasted material. The most we are left with is a little chunk in the middle that we can still reuse for something else. Now you can see here is the cam file that we came up with. So you'll see there's a part outlined in green, one in orange, and two in yellow. So how I broke it down was I have the first part here that I'm going to be cutting out and testing to make sure everything works. And then doing the same with the second one in orange as well. And then hopefully if all goes well, the two yellow parts will be able to do in one operation and reduce the amount of time of having to reset the machine. So we're going to go over all the uh, preview of the CAM software here, just so you can kind of get an idea of how it's all going to look. So we just got to check all those, click preview, let it load and speed it up as fast as possible. Put it on an angle so you can kind of see what's going on. So you'll see that we're going to start by cutting all the holes and then doing the outlines for all the parts then making all the pockets and leaving some space to hold it all together. So yeah, this is what the file is gonna look like. Now all we've gotta do is test it out. So let's get into it. The next step will be to fasten down our material. So we have our cut sheet of aluminum that we have from earlier, and we're gonna use a handful of clamps to make sure this guy does not move when we are machining it. The clamping might change as time goes on, but to start with, this is what we have. Now that the cam's done and the part is fastened, we can start cutting stuff out. It took around an hour 15 to cut these four plates out, but that was more due to user error than the machine itself. So I did stop the machine because I realized that for whatever reason, the cam software wasn't showing the tabs. So I paused it and got it to recut it. And after that, it worked fine. And here we're cutting the back plates and everything goes well. So luckily this time using the Carvera, I did not have any issues compared to the other previous times that I've used it. So it's either I'm getting the hang of the machine or the machine is finally working the way it was supposed to the entire time. And the makeshift exhaust system we came up with was working pretty well. It was able to clear the chips and it didn't really gum up the mill and it stayed cool the entire time. So I'm really happy about that. Now that the parts are done here, we're going to quickly clean out all of these metal chips because this is in fact in my basement and we don't want that stuff going all over the place. Now we get the satisfying part of removing all the clamps and freeing our aluminum plate. Now we're going to go outside and cut off some of these tabs to free all of the parts. So I'm only going to show you cutting these ones here just because it's just doing the same thing over and over. But once we pretty much, or once I cut off all the parts, I was able to kind of sand them back, make them nice and flat, and make it work as intended. And here we go with the grand reveal. Lifting the plates out of the frame. Boom. Here are the four plates for the Hive 3D printer. So we're going to do the satisfying peel and peel these little pieces of plastic off. They're kind of stuck on there, but they are coming right off. So yeah. We have all four plates successfully made. There's still a couple more that we're gonna have to make, but we'll do those in the next video where we assemble the Y axis and get some cool custom parts in. So I hope you'll stick around for that one. And if you're enjoying the video so far, I'd really appreciate if you'd leave a like or subscribe to my channel. And now to answer the question we asked at the start of the video, what was the cost of doing this myself? So the aluminum plate I got was 20 Canadian dollars, so that's probably close to 14 US dollars. Then we have the amount of time it took. So it took about 15 minutes to get the cam go, uh, working properly. 
and it took about an hour 15 to get the aluminum plates cut and it took another 15 to 20 minutes of post-processing to make the parts nice and uh, clean. So in a grand total, it's about $14 worth of aluminum, but we used less than that. So it was probably like six or $7 worth of material and then close to two hours of machining and cleanup time. So overall, it's not a crazy amount of money to do it yourself, but you do need specialized equipment to do it. So if you are able to afford a CNC, then I would highly recommend you try doing some of these projects yourself because you'll learn a lot along the way and you'll get a pretty cool project out of it. So thank you very much for watching this video. I'll see you next time where we'll be putting together the Y-axis for the Hive 3D printer. Goodbye.